Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny and today we are doing something completely different from the rest of the content on this channel and that is my first impressions of or my reaction to a concert that I've seen uh, last night and that is First Aid Kit. And I've been a fan of this uh, dynamic duo for many years. I have not had the opportunity to see them live until yesterday and uh, I get um, so much respect for these girls uh, because their style of playing is um, uh, different to, to the mainstream trends that we see, but they are still managing to reach uh, enough audience to make them international stars. And uh, I think that's, that's really beautiful and something to cherish uh, along the way. Uh, during the 2000s, yeah, there, there have been uh, uh, some bands like like um, um, uh, Fleet Foxes, I believe, um, that they are called, who were more successful in uh, driving uh, more attention to them uh, from a uh, broader audience. And uh, yeah, uh, War on Drugs could be one example, but not, not that um, closely related. But anyhow, if you're not familiar with First Aid Kit, do yourself a favor, go on YouTube or anywhere where you listen to music, stream music, and check these girls out. They are um, completely amazing. Their harmonies are astonishing. Their songwriting and the whole sound they have been developing through the years has a really original stamp, I would say. And uh, they're just beautiful, beautiful um, artists. So where to start? I'll uh, during the video I'll share. Uh, you can see in the left of the screen. Uh, you can see that I have uh, small footage from the concert uh, that we will listen to. But before that, um, let me just share a couple of comments and then we'll uh, go into the into the record. Uh, sorry, into the footage. So basically, a uh, first surprise was uh, that. Um, uh, they both, I know they both play instruments, but I didn't uh, notice uh, before that um, uh, Joanna, who is an um, um, older sister, plays the bass. Uh, I was very surprised by that. Uh, in the past, she was playing the keyboard, so it seems like uh, she's a multi instrumentalist, and which is amazing to, accom uh, to accompany her, her amazing uh, vocal skills. And yeah, Clara was uh, the whole time on the acoustic guitar and a few exceptions on the uh, electric guitar. Uh, the band they have on this tour is um, particularly interesting. They have now a full section. They have a lead guitar, electric guitar, they have drums and they have um, a percussionist uh, too. And the band really does sound uh, tight. They are very well rehearsed band. Um, they are not there to show off. There, there's nothing um, like jammy in, in their sound or nothing uh, too left to for the improvisation. Uh, but they they sound really solid and they they great great justice to to the girls in front and uh, yeah they they are uh, completely amazing. Another fact that I was uh, really surprised is that the original venue of the of for the concert was a small club in outskirts of um, Cologne, where I actually uh, live at the moment. And um, uh, there they... It, I, I was very surprised to see that uh, they put the this kind of band. Uh, I think the club cannot hold more than five, eight hundred people. So I was very surprised to see that in such a small venue and I rushed to buy uh, my ticket uh, early. And after maybe two weeks uh, or maybe a month, I'm not sure, I cannot recall, they they switched the location to a much um, much closer to the, um, to the city and uh, basically it's where uh, different bands are, are uh, much more, let's say, famous bands are playing. In the same venue last year I saw Beach House and uh, they didn't sold out. Uh, they basically had half half full venue while these girls they sold out uh, the same venue so as i was surprised to see beach house in such a big venue i was surprised that they didn't count that uh, first aid kit can't sold out uh, 
this this venue which can hold i believe probably 2000 people uh, maybe free i'm not uh, i'm very bad at estimation in this kind of things but it was packed i came like 15 minutes uh, before the supporting act and it was already full uh, until the end of the um, uh, soundboard uh, at the middle of the of the of the um, concert hall and uh, yeah the support act was their friend maya who was accompanied with uh, their uh, first aid kids uh, guitarist um, she was lovely as well, amazing voice. I don't know uh, what these uh, uh, Swedes are um, drinking or eating, but uh, they're amazing, amazing singers. And she's a great songwriter, so uh, great praise for for the supporting act. And uh, when the when the first aid kit came on the stage, uh, yeah, it was completely um, amazing to to hear them for the first time live. The first impressions were uh, I gotta see them again, and that didn't change until end of the record. Uh, sorry, until end of the concert. Uh, they played roughly around hour and a half, maybe uh, ten minutes longer, which is uh, pretty much enough. Uh, they covered all their, let's say, I won't say big hits, uh, but the the most familiar songs, as well as a lot of new songs from new record, and. Those new songs from New Record are perfectly fitting everything else that they are doing. Um, I was thinking where they, these girls can go next, uh, what they can explore more. Uh, I wouldn't say that um, they're becoming boring, but I'm, I'm not sure how the broader audience, how fast will they become uh, fed up with the, I won't say, say same old sound, but the same expression. But for now, it's working really well. I think I've seen them, if I have seen them uh, in the past, I would still say they were on their rise, uh, they are a rising star, and I still think they are a rising star. So seeing them five years ago or today, I don't think much has changed. They kept the same quality, the same energy, the same interest from the audience. The audience was completely, completely uh, amazing. There were sing-along, there were a lot of sing-alongs, they were clapping in the rhythm. Uh, not a lot of people were actually uh, recording or uh, taking pictures, which, which was awesome. Uh, of course, there were still some of that, including me, but uh, everyone was captured in the moment. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, let's jump into this uh, sequence that I uh, prepared for you. Uh, it's uh, The reason why I've chosen this is uh, because this whole song was amazing, but I cut only the second half not to go too too long because the, the, the quality of the video is not the best. So just to give you a glimpse of the atmosphere, we are taking a look at the second half of the song and the introduction of the beginning of the song. And then I'll, I'll continue with my uh, review. Let's go. Let me just adjust the sound a bit for you.
Yeah, so basically, um, there are two things that I wanted to share with you about uh, this video that uh, is... So first of all, uh, I never seen them in such an atmosphere or in such a setup where they just uh, madly going around the stage and uh, being more uh, rocky um, than, than ever before. I, I, I mean... I didn't see them uh, before live and I didn't see many footage uh, on the internet before, but um, I think they were very static in, in the past. I did see some of the videos and they were very static behind their keyboards and acoustic guitar and they were a typical song singer songwriter. But this is uh, a good indication where these girls can go in the future. Uh, you can see they are still very, I won't say clumsy on the stage, but their moves are not as as confident as you can see in uh, some typical rock bands that are on the stage. And that was very charming to see. For me, they are, they're trying to push themselves in a, out of the comfort zone and uh, they're, they're simply amazing. And uh, yeah, the vocal performance of Clara is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, the whole band, as you could hear it, I hope, uh, really does sound tight. And what I also, enjoy during the concert is that they always had the nice transmissions between the songs there were no or not a lot another long cuts between songs and that really kept the atmosphere uh, really tight and uh, ongoing um yeah it's it, it has been an amazing show they did a couple of covers too and one of those was uh, songbird which they sang uh, in front of one uh, mic. So basically they put a mic in the in the middle of the stage and they stepped like um, a couple of feet in the back, a couple of meters as well in the back. And uh, Clara was in front with the guitar and uh, Johanna was, uh, Johanna, uh, was um, behind her shoulder. Uh, <laughs> it, it almost felt like Simon and Garfunkel moment. And they sing the song so beautifully, even though uh, Johanna's voice uh, broke or break in, in one point and she apologized. It was so spontaneous and so honest. Even these imperfections were bringing so much joy to my face. I mean, they are real. They are, they are completely weird. They are, I mean, if you have not heard this band, do yourself a favor, go check them out. Uh, it's pure emotion, it's pure uh, pure magic, I would say, at this point. And uh, yeah, they are doing, they have a couple of uh, concerts now for the rest of the leg of the European tour in Scandinavian countries, but then they go to extend the um, US tour. So I'm not sure which cities they are covering, but do yourself a favor, check if they are in your city or nearby. Uh, you're in for an amazing, amazing concert. They are exceptional. And if you can support the band in any other way, buying merch or uh, at least putting them on your Spotify list, uh, it will definitely help them a lot. And uh, yeah, these girls have been on the road uh, since they were teenagers. Um, they formed the band when the, they were uh, 12 and 15. Uh, Clara never started high school. She chosen the name, the band name, when she was twelve, and started to write their songs, uh, covering the songs. And uh, they are they are immediate. They were immediate stars in a lot of eyes of uh, not only the fans but also uh, other musicians. Uh, they recorded with Jack, uh, Jack White in his studio many times, and uh, simply simply amazing. So this concert was. I would say in the last 12 months that I've seen, I've seen many gigs, uh, and but this is this is uh, by far uh, a bucket list concert for me and uh, among top three concerts that I've seen in the last one month. Uh, it's been completely amazing. So if you can support the band in any way, feel free to do so. Uh, I strongly encourage you to check some of their content if you've never seen them uh, before uh, perform. And they have a new album, um, Palomino, uh, it's a brilliant album. Uh, I have reacted to one of their songs in the past. So uh, you can check that out or just go to their YouTube channel. So thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this a bit different um, review. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.